reasons why I like doing this. Some people say sometimes, don't I ever get tired of debating with the religious? No, absolutely I don't, because you never know what they're going to say next. <laughs> Sam and I don't mind being called predictable. It's very easy. We, we, we know what we think. We say straight out where we think we know and where we think it's not possible to know, why we don't think there's a supernatural, and so on. But this evening already we've had your suggestion that God is only really a guru, a friend when you're in need. I mean, he wouldn't do anything like bugger around with Job to prove a point. And which if I now tell you, well, that must mean that that book is not the word of God. You'd say, well, whoever believed that ever, that ever was the word of God. Let me just tell you something. For hundreds and thousands of years, this kind of discussion would have been in most places impossible to have. Or Sam and I would have been having it at the risk of our lives. Religion now comes to us in this smiley face, ingratiating way. <laughs> because it's had to give so much ground. And because we know so much more. But you've no right to forget the way it behaved when it was strong. And when it really did believe that it had God on its side. <laughs>